I was just saying the other day, hope I can get some more silver rings. It's been a while. All righty. And Joe's got the next one. What do you got, Joe? Take a look. Look at this. I didn't touch it. I just flipped it about five minutes. Oh! Ago. Isn't that pretty? What the heck with this pinpointer? Joe's been doing the same thing. I know just what to say. Johnny here for guess it was fate metal detecting and look who we got here. Joe from Hooked On History. We are hunting the sledding slopes along an old park in my hometown. But check this out my friends. This was a little away from the sledding slope. Ha <laughs> ha! Silver of a different kind. Coming over here on this spot. We're going to go down to this point over here. And I was picking up at 1245, but it sounded really high pitched, so I dug it. I was hoping for silver, and I got myself some silver, my friends. But we have a bent up silver ring. Yes, indeed. We will try and straighten her out later. But I was just saying the other day, hope I can get some more silver rings. It's been a while. All righty. On to the next find. After I managed to open it up and clean it up, I was certainly shocked to see what was inside. Sterling and 14K. Yahoo, baby! All right, my friends, Joe's got the next silver. Yahoo, baby, let's take a look. We are hunting the sledding slopes. Right over there is where I found my two about, oh, about a week ago. And Joe's got the next one. What do you got, Joe? Take a look. Look at this. I didn't touch it. I just flipped it about five minutes. Oh! Isn't that pretty? It's like a Merc. Yep, it's a Merc. Fantastic. Let's take a look, see. Don't you love them when they're nice and shiny? Oh, yes, I do. Not like, see? <laughs> nope. Not, nope. Not like uh, Happy Hunting Ground. 1940. 1940. Look at how beautiful, creamy color that silver is. Oh my God. What do you got to say for yourself? Silver, baby. <laughs> Howdy friends, Johnny here and today is September the 12th and I'm doing a little beach detecting as you can see. But uh, I'm just doing the dry sand and uh, I got a couple good finds. Check these out my friends. Yeah, just doing this area. It's not low tide until uh, about 2.30 and I got my girlfriend with me. She's walking. And I'm on the sand here. So let's take a look what we've got so far. Take a look at this. At first I thought this was going to be silver. It's just a bicentennial dollar, Eisenhower. There you see 76. I think the 40% silver was a 1976S. But happy to get this dollar clad coin. It was only two, three inches down. Coming up, believe it or not, there's a 144. And then I got some quarters here, you can see. But look at this. This was down this hole pretty deep. About, oh, about eight inches, I would say. But this is an awesome button. 
Now when I pulled this out, it had sand on it and I did not, I thought it was just a quarter, so I started brushing it off. And the center piece, the shank popped off, or what was left of it, and I couldn't find it, but it's got some nice, it's got a nice floral pattern on there. That is pretty cool, I like the toning too. It's purplish. All right, I tried scanning with the uh, Pro Pointer on top for about five minutes. I couldn't find the other piece, so I'm a little PO'd about that. But happy to get this one anyway. All righty, let's get some more. Johnny back with you, and that was enough beach detecting for me. I got my girlfriend with me, but uh, she's going for a walk, and Johnny scores silver back at the Happy Hunting Ground. You know it, my friends. Check this out. I was coming over here right by the edge. I'm trying to th figure out other places to hunt. And I've hunted here before. Different day, different angle, different conditions, my friends. Don't be fooled, it's never hunted out. And I was getting a 12.46.47, just a little pip. And I dug. Oh, that has to be about a seven or eight inch hole. Yes, sir. And I scooped out the dirt, put it on my cleaning cloth. I haven't even looked at it yet. And we have another mark. And it's in pretty nice condition. Let's zoom in and see what we have here. Well, I'm gonna give it a little spraying and I'll get right back with you. Uh-oh. Guess what we got? Looks like we have another 44. You know the song. All right, Johnny's happy to get silver number 82. Let's give her a flip and see if we got a mint mark. Nope, looks just like a plane. But that's 82 silvers for Johnny. Yahoo, baby. Keep it going. Go, Johnny, go. Yeah. All right, Johnny, back with you with my next find. Coming in at around a 29 to 33, but it was mostly a 32, 33. You know what it is, my friend. Yeah, and as you can see, some of the leaves are turning and falling already. It's just a beautiful day today. Look at that blue sky, my friends. Oh, I love September. All right, coming over here, 32, 33. I was picking up that number, but it was way down there. I flicked it with my trowel right up here. I'm not sure, but that is the color, you know of Indian head scents, and we're gonna give it a shot here. Oh yes, indeed. Yep, I see the headdress on Lady Liberty. All right, we're gonna put it up on the mound and brush it off and see if we get, get a date off it. Oh, there it is, my friends. I believe we have an 18 84 or an 81 not too sure the reverse is even worse than this side look at that toasted from Irene and Sandy saltwater damage but happy to get yet another Indian at the happy hunting ground that's why we named it the happy hunting ground because all the Indians we used to get trash <laughs> you know it, Johnny gets his just like everybody else. And this is just a small portion of the trash I usually get. And looky here, I got something for Treasure Jack. <laughs> all right, my friends, you know what I say about all this. I'm as mad as hell, but I'm not going to take this anymore.